to Tech Brothers in this video we're going to answer a question and question is SQL Server cluster installation failed where would you look for the cause first of all anytime you install SQL Server whether it's a cluster mode or standalone mode um, there is a log gets created of the installation it contains every step that uh, SQL Server takes or you do uh, while in installing and configuring SQL Server during the installation uh, it everything gets logged into that file and I'll show you in a second where where, where that file is um, but uh, the subfolder the final folder depends on the version of SQL Server if you're using SQL Server 2014 it'll be 120 if you're using SQL Server 2012 it'll be 110 and um, if you're uh, doing SQL Server 2008 R2 it'll be 100 so I'm gonna show you quickly where um, that log file the log folder is and you can look in all kind of uh, 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 summary uh, or detailed log and I would suggest that you look in detail log because that will tell you exactly what the issue is if you're not sure what the issue was and you wanted to look into detail the cause for that you need to go and read that detailed log of that installation so I'm gonna go ahead this is my server where I have installed SQL server and uh, I'm gonna go click on this computer go to C uh, program files make sure that you go not 86 but uh, program files and uh, click on SQL Server and here are those folders since mine is SQL Server 2014 I'm gonna go ahead and click on 120 and right here is the folder that you need to look for it's called setup bootstrap so if you double click on that you will see a log up here a folder called log so you go in that log and you will see th these are the detailed logs and this is the summary log whatever uh, you know if there is any issue during installation you need to look at the detail log in this particular folder I'm gonna highlight right here uh, this is uh, for right here what I was talking about that uh, main folder if it's 2012 uh, you need to look at 110 and if it's uh, 2008 R2 you need to look at 100 I hope it helps